So, this may be the last video you see for a while. Uh, for me, anyway, for, uh, you know, maybe for a while. Uh, we're set to, it looks like we're going to close on the house at the end of August. And so, uh, being that it's already the first weekend of August, we got to get a crack on unpacking. Uh, problem is, we don't have a house to go to. Turns out the market's so hot right now that um, if you have a house to sell, when you put in an offer for another house, uh, you're not likely to get that house even if you put in a bigger offer. We put in offers on homes, 10,000 over at, uh, the highest bid, and lost it because the other the bid they went with, the owners didn't have, the buyers didn't have a house to sell. So we've basically been told by the realtors until we're homeless we basically have no chance of getting a house so we're going to keep trying we'll see how it goes we have a contingency on this house that we won't sell we won't close on it until we get a house and frankly if that takes forever fine if the buyer walks away i'm i'm fine with that too we'll take the house off the market for now because right now homes are going for way more than they should uh, it feels like a bubble to me. Uh, I, it could just be the going rate, but at some point, five, six, seven years from now, the market's going to correct itself. Either the bubble's going to burst or um, prices are going to come down on homes because just that's what happens, right? When that happens, these homes that are going now, uh, the owners are going to be upside down on their mortgage and I think that's going to be a real problem so if we had to stay here fine uh, you know we, we can't touch a house for as little as we owe on this one so um, we'll see you know we'll see how it goes we, we do have an offer in on one place right now but frankly I they've already turned down one offer because they, they had a contingency on there uh, the buyer had um, uh, either I had a home to sell or he bid so low that it insulted the seller so not really sure we'll see what happens um, the other thing is most of the homes we're looking at most a lot of the homes we've been looking at are flipped homes and you can tell because either the craftsmanship is shiny or the materials are or both I won't buy one of those homes I, I would urge other people not to buy those homes they're just a problem you know, five, ten years down the road waiting to happen. Uh, so, you know, we'll see how it goes. But uh, in the meantime, we're going to continue packing just in case. Uh, it went through uh, the inspection, it went through the appraisal, so really, what's left? Uh, nothing. So, we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're we're going to continue to look. Uh, the last two days, we've looked at 12 homes, I've clocked something like 400 miles on my car looking at these places so I mean we're trying but uh, you know we'll see how it goes uh, when school starts there might be a dip because you know people who are moving with kids want to move uh, before school starts uh, however there will be a certain number of them that will be willing to move even when school's in, in, you know, in session uh, but that little dip might be just enough to sneak us in under the radar so you know again we'll see we'll have to see how it goes uh so uh, i got i got a couple things i'm gonna fire up the tractor and drive it around a little bit it's been a while and i don't want the gas just sitting there so i might film that maybe uh it's 90 plus degrees and humid as i'll get out so what is that 30 celsius or something like 34 32 anyway it's warm uh, so the bike isn't happening and of course all last week it was beautiful out but I had to work and I was working late and I had to go look at houses so and then of course the weekend comes and I got Sunday today I could do things but no yeah, it's hot and humid and it's clouded up we're supposed to get rain today this afternoon and evening so I'd hate to be out and get caught in that because if it does happen, it's going to be, it'll be pretty heavy rain. It'll be a lot of energy in the air to fuel it. So 
to see how that goes. Uh, so anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I'll still be watching videos occasionally, but honestly, the closer to the end of the month we get, and the more likely we seem to be to be moving, the less I'll have time for that. So, you know, if I drop off for a month or two, just know it's because we're moving. So, uh, that should be it. Unless, of course, I do something with the tractor. It's kind of hot out, so I may or may, you know, I might just take it out, run it around, and come back. I don't know. We'll um, I'm going to do the same with the bike. I'm going to fire it up, go up and down the street a few times, maybe around the block, whatever. Just kind of exercise it. Um, I did take it off the market. I took the bike off the market a couple months ago in June uh, at the advice of a bike builder friend of mine because he said that uh, really I'll get the best price next spring. So I can wait. So we'll see how it goes. Anyway, so that's it. Hope everybody's having a good day, a good weekend, whatever it is, and uh, be talking to you soon, hopefully. Okay, so what you just saw was uh, my, my using the tractor to straighten out a fence post. It worked, sort of. Um, the problem is, is every time I got off the tractor, it, it scooched back because with me on the tractor, there was enough weight to hold the post. Without me on the tractor, you know. So it's straighter than it was, but it's still, you know. But, you know, it works. So, well, you know. Uh, I drove it around the yard for a while. I uh, went in the back where I'd planted some seeds and uh, grass seed and uh, the dirt was still loose so uh, we're about to get some rain so uh, I used the tires to kind of pack everything down. It worked out pretty well actually. Anyway all in all I had this thing running probably a good half hour non-stop and she ran fine. Um, I gotta tweak the idle a little bit. This is the new carb on here right so it's got well, I want to say just a couple hours on it, so I, you know, I kind of left it at the default settings when I got it, and didn't change it much. So I, you know, it's like anything; you got to play with it a little bit. But overall, she fired up and ran good. So uh, haven't been out on a bike. I'm gonna do that after dinner when it cools off a little bit more, uh, assuming it doesn't rain. Um, but it's looking good. We're slowly packing up. I got things in boxes and you know empty containers and I got that all cleaned out and cleaned up and we're getting there we're getting there um, most of the cabinets are empty now so got a lot of boxes up there so we're gonna hire a moving company just to we're too old to be moving everything so assuming we get a house we're just gonna hire two men in a truck or Mayflower or somebody and just have them take care of it. But, all right. Hope everyone's having a good weekend and uh, 
unless I do something on the bike uh, and record it, I'll uh, I'll talk at you later. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in a couple months uh, sooner if we don't sell or you know don't find a place to live. So later. <laughs>